Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Abel Canal. I am with the Boys and Girls Club of Metro Los Angeles. And today we're going to work on an introduction to drumming. So let's get started. So do you enjoy listening to music? I mean, who doesn't, right? Yeah. Do you possibly tap your foot when you listen to music? Or maybe you like to dance a little bit? Or maybe you're like me and you like to air drum. I mean, we all do it different ways, right? But the point is, is that music is all around us. So why not learn a little bit about it? That we can tell your friends, hey, I know how to play drums. So what's the focus for today? So today we're going to focus on three things. Number one. We're going to learn how to hold a drumstick, okay? It's important how we hold a drumstick. Number two, we're going to learn a warm-up that you can play along with your drumsticks. And then last, number three, we're going to go ahead and play along to a song, the warm-up that we learned. So there you go. All right, so here's a question for you. What kind of music are you listening to right now? You know, um, who's your favorite music artist? Drop a comment down below in the video. I definitely want to know what kind of music you're listening to. There is no right or wrong answer. I just want to know so maybe I can listen to some new music as well. So let me know down low. All right. You've made it this far. So let's get started. So step one, before we even start playing drums, it's something that I learned. It's really important. And you do this when you're playing sports, when you're being active, no matter what. It's always important to what? Stretch. There you go. So before we even pick up sticks, before I even teach you how to play drums or even how to hold sticks, we're going to stretch a little bit. It's important that we stretch. Um, that way you don't get any injuries. And then especially if you want to continue drumming, playing music, as you get older, you want to make sure you're doing this because your body needs that extra, extra support. All right. Exercise number one. Super simple stretch. Really quick. Just going to do this with the fingers. Just going to get them loose. You know, you're going to start feeling a burn. Because maybe you're not used to just doing this with your fingers and that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's working. rotate our wrist. So you're going to do this. You can do time like that. But you don't have to go too fast. It can be slow. Fast. Just take your time. Take your time. You can always pause the video and do it. Or, um, take your time with it. There's no time limit on this. Go ahead and take your time. However, something that I do want to tell you is you want to be careful. You don't want to get too crazy with it because you can also injure yourself. So just take your time, do it slow, and if you feel like you're pulling too much, right there, start turning a little bit, just slow down and maybe do less of it. All right, this next one, we're going to be stretching our hand back, but be careful because you're going to hurt yourself right here. Low. So, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll repeat that a couple times. So, do it again. Let me hear count loud. Switch it, we're gonna do it the other way. One, two. And then again. So 
So, as a drummer, because now you're a drummer, one of the first things that I learned was how to hold a stick the proper way. Now, there's different ways of holding it. There's traditional, and then there's also uh, match grip. Traditional is going to be more old school, something that you'll see in marching bands. And then match grip is something that you'll see more when you're playing drum set. So, here we go. We'll start, you can do it with any hand to start off with, and then we'll do the other hand. So on my case, we'll start with the left. You want to do this. The the drumstick, there's two points in your, ha in your hand that's going to be gripping the stick the most. So, if you see right here, it's going to be right here and right here, where these lines are at. That's gonna be the center, and that's where you're gonna be able to balance the stick the most. So we're gonna go ahead and put the stick here, and then you're gonna grip it like this. And there you go. And take your time with this. It's gonna be, feel weird at first, but just go back and forth doing this. Until it feels comfortable. Okay, now, what if you don't have a drumstick at home? Totally fine. Because we're going to be using this. So go to your mom's kitchen, your dad, your parents' kitchen, and ask them for one of these or just something similar. It doesn't have to be plastic. It can be uh, wooden as well, and you'll have the same effect. Okay? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to grip it like this between the, the first line right here of your index finger and your thumb. And voila, there you go. It works. Well, what if you tell me, Mr. Abel, I don't have a drumstick or a plastic spoon like that. Well then, we'll use this. Same thing. You're gonna do this, grip it like this and like this. Same thing. All right, let's recap real quick. So, the focus is gonna be between your index and your thumb, right? You're gonna to try to find that balance between your the, the first line on your index finger right here. Okay, now what do you do with the rest of your fingers? Just wrap them around like that. And there you go. Simple enough, right? Same thing with the other hand, like this, put it right here, do this, and wrap it around, and you're ready to go. All right, go ahead and pause the video. If, you're, if you wanna just practice holding it, that's not a problem. And once you're ready, click play, and we'll continue with the lesson. And there's one more supply that you're gonna need for this class. Um, and I think this is, hopefully you do have this at home. And if you don't, you can play on any surface. Worst case scenario, you can play on your lap and you're good to go. But if you can, just grab a pillow, just any pillow. The pillow's gonna be your best friend for these drum lessons. Um, that's all you need. You don't need to go buy a drum set yet. You don't need to go do none of that. Um, you can get a lot done, and that's how I did it when I first got started, just playing on a pillow. All right, so we're ready to go. We got our drumsticks, right? Once again, index, thumb, wrap it around, and ready to go. Let's go on to step two. All right. Let's get going already. So, I grab my pillow. That's what I got. I'm gonna place it. You can place it on the table, on your sofa, on your lap, in your room, wherever you're playing. Um, and this is where we're gonna. This is gonna be our playing surface. Okay. So what we're gonna do is remember we know how to grip our sticks now. We're gonna grab them like this, and then we're gonna go ahead and place them at a 90, 90 degree. Okay. So you wanna. 
kind of imagine that there's like a little circle in the middle and that's where both of your sticks kind of want to be pointing at. So the point of the stick, the point of the stick, you see it right there? You want it to be in the middle. Now, what we're going to work is on two simple things. They're called downstrokes and upstrokes. So what does that mean? So we're going to pick up both of our sticks like this and just with the right hand, right hand first, we're going to go ahead and let it drop and pick it up. Again, drop and pick it up. Again, drop and pick it up. Drop, pick it up. Drop, pick it up. Now let's do it with the left hand. Drop and pick it up. Drop and pick it up. Drop again and then bring it back up. So on a pillow, or there's gonna be um, places where you play, and it's gonna wanna bounce on its own, and that's fine. So if you wanna do this, and bring it back up. Bring it back up. So when it's going down, that's called a down stroke. And when the stick comes up like this, that's up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke. Let's do it again. Go ahead and play along with me, okay? Or you can pause the video and do it on your own and then we'll start again. But here we go, together. And say it with me. Down stroke, up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke. Down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, up stroke. See how that feels? Feels nice, right? Go ahead and continue doing that for a couple um, more minutes and we'll go through it again. All right, from a different angle. Sticks are up, right hand first, down, up, left hand, down, up. Right hand, down, up. Left hand, down, up. Right hand, down, up. Left hand, down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Here we go, same thing. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up, 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 down, up. Down, up, 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 down, up. Good job. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and learn now a warm-up that all drummers should know wherever you go and play. You'll see this everywhere and everybody knows it. It's called eight on a hand. So this is what it this is what it is. It's literally eight on a hand. So what do you think that means, guys? Let me know. Pause it. Think about it. Try to answer it. Let me know. So eight on a hand. That means you're gonna play the right hand eight times before you go to the left hand and play eight times. We do this to stretch and warm up the hands before you ever play. This is probably gonna be one of the most, one of the most basic uh, warm ups that you'll ever find anywhere for drums. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. 
So we'll just do the the right hand first, okay? One, two, here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, ready, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do the left hand. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, ready, again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right hand, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now we're going to go ahead and alternate. What does that mean? You're going to do eight on your right and eight on your left. And we're going to go back and forth. Okay? Let's play together. Let's do it together. Okay? And then what I'll do is I'll have you guys play it. And then I'll play it again. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, guys. Go ahead and, and pause it, repeat it a couple times. All right, so now it's going to be your turn to play. I'll play it first. You can play along with me. And then I'm going to stop playing, but I'm still going to count for you, and you play, and we'll switch. So it'll be my turn, and then your turn. Here we go.
Here we go together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. One, two, ready. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So at this point, you should have a better understanding of what eight and a hand is, right? I hope so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to play a little faster and we'll see how fast we can get today. Um, remember, it's not about being fast. You want to sound good, uh, but let's just do a little challenge. Let's go ahead and let's see how fast we can get today. Um, let me know how fast you're able to go. All right. Sounds good. Here we go. One, two. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left hand. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Good job. All right. Let's take it a little faster now. Let's see how fast we can get, right? Let's take it up a notch. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. All right, good job. All right, so are you still keeping up? Okay. 
You want it faster? Let's go ahead and take it a step faster. All right, for those that still want to be challenged some more, let's take it up a notch. Let's get a little faster with it. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. All right. This is going to be it right here. It's going to test you out. Practice, practice, practice at this tempo. Practice this speed. And I want to see you doing it. Post it. Tag us on Instagram. I want to see you guys. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Did you guys keep up? If you did, high five. All right, so last, before we're done, let's go ahead and play eight on a hand that we just learned over a song. We'll do, um, maybe you'll recognize this song. Let's try it out, see how it goes. One, two, ready, go, one. boys and girls so now let's play a little game you guys know how Simon Says goes so how does that work right Simon Says Sit Your Ear Simon Says Sit Your Ear right but this is gonna be more of a musical Simon Says so I'm gonna play something on this drum right here this drum it's called a cajon the cajon is played in various occasions and it can take the place of a drum set. So instead of taking a full drum set, they can take this as well. It has a nice high sound as well. So you can do and then a low sound. High, low sound. Okay? So we're going to try it out. I'll play one and then I'll repeat it and then you'll see how we do it. Ready? So we'll play. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Ba, ba, da, da, da. Your turn. Two, da, da, da. Again. Your turn. Ba, ba, do, do, da. Ga, ga, da, da, da. One, two, three, uh, uh. So do you guys understand? So the, the rhythm that I played 
you have to go ahead and play too, right? So if I, if I play, you're going to play dot, 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 dot. And you can play right here too. Right? Uh, 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 uh. Or you can play right here. Or you can clap it. Up to you, however you want to do it, okay? Let's try it again. Ready? One, two, ready, go. And one. Take it up, let's do it a little slower, we'll change it, I'll go fast, slow, we'll do it different ways, okay? Here we go, here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Jaka jaka cha. Jaka jaka cha. Jaka jaka cha. Jaka jaka cha. Tuku tuku ta ta. Ready, go. Good job. Let's let's make it a little tough on you guys now. I feel like I've been going pretty easy, pretty easy. So here we go. Hope you guys are ready for this one. Ready? One, two, ready, go. 
You should know that one. If you didn't get it, come on. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. Again. Nice. Great job. Great job. All right. So, like I said, this is the cajon. And, yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit of how it sounds. And, and if you guys like it, you know, I'll continue playing this and I'll try different drums. All right. So, here we go. <clears throat> One, two, ready, go. all right amazing job thank you thank you for watching the video give yourself a round of applause you did it thank you for showing up go ahead and tag us on instagram if you have an instagram with your parents with your sticks whatever you were using today or a video of you playing to any song that you want. Just gotta find the beat and let us know what's going on. All right? <clears throat>